Hey gamers, it's the Mandor Fool. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. In the last episode, we got to the um, tower here, and we're gonna go ahead and continue on to the Golden Rod uh, Radio Tower and see if we can stop Team Rockets, the Band of Evil. Yes. Um, I also started Legend of Zelda, and I did some work on Ghostbusters today, so. Um, I've already finished two projects, um, Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine, but I will be going back and re-editing Mario Sunshine, um, because the finale, the lighting on the finale was actually pretty bad, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I had to fight both of these rocket rounds, so just don't mind them, just go right ahead, go upstairs. And this one doesn't react to, um, your foot, or whatever. It reacts to your, um, how do you say your... Whatever direction you're in, that's what it will be. We'll just go around here. I already fought the scientist. <clears throat> and then, here we go. An executive battle. Ahem, do you hear me? I am the director. We have decided to broadcast wonderful shows. Praise to Rocket. Everyone, I don't want to hear you complain. Just do the job. Yikes! I'm busy in person and in Who are you? Oh, it's you again, fine. Petrol, no, 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 I'm pretending to be the director and the entire region to support Team Rockets. This time, I won't hold back. Give me your all. Give me all you've got. Petrol, this is the rematch between you and Petrol Giovanni. Or Giovanni's son, I guess. not Giovanni himself. Although in Bubble P, I think it does state the news. And here we go, Godzilla used shirt. Go. This should be easy. Um, they're level 30 Pokemon. This is um, a trainer battle. We get extra experience points. And plus they're poison against water, so we shouldn't have a hard time defeating these things. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we're almost to 44, um, level 44. So, let's not tilt the camera, but continue with the episode. Godzilla grew to level 44. Executive Petrol is about to send out Koofy! Will you switch your Pokemon? Switch. Um, I'm gonna switch out to, not Free Space, but my Charmeleon. So I'm going to use a overheat first, and since my attack is so powerful, the uh, battle set is going to be on me, so I can go first. And the fire automatically makes the poison flammable, which takes it out. Plus it's a move at five, pe five Pokemon power, so it's easy to use. Keep battling. <coughs> Um, the first and second generation games are really easy. Um, so is Pokemon Black and White because where you need to go is always, you know, the next area. But a lot of the puzzles in Legendary Pokemon were just spin-offs of Diamond and Pearl. And, but Diamond and Pearl and Sweetie and Sapphire have the same battle type. Um, third and fourth generation games, the Pokemon never moved. Um, it was until fifth generation that the sprites actually started moving up and down and... You know how there are animations, and people complain that the sprites are horrible in black and white, but um, it, it's just something that they tried new, and I guess maybe that's a reason that, uh, uh, maybe a feature that might add to the second black and white, um, Pokemon Black and White 2, which is a new Kyrium, or Kyrium. but um, I'm going to be hosting another contest for a legendary Pokemon for a Mewtwo, but I'm not going to tell you when. Um, this is the special Mewtwo from Black and White, <clears throat> and I will be giving it away, but I'm going to decide what Pokemon I want in return, though. 
I might just save it. I'm not gonna say when the date is for the contest, but I might just save it until I can transfer it into the new black network if possible. So yeah, the special Mewtwo will know Shadow Ball, Electro Ball, um, Fly Strike, whatever I think, and then it, it comes in a Cherish Ball naturally without any action at all. It's a really rare Mewtwo. And we're gonna get into uh, later what kind of Pokemon Mewtwo is in this game and where you can find it. Lowering your accuracy. I'm gonna use a takedown. Hit with recoil. Load. Hey, wait. Are you serious? Yeah, this guy hasn't. This guy probably isn't the real game. Right? Um, in the end of the first Pokemon game, it actually did clarify that this was, um, Giovanni had a son, I think that's, this guy looks much younger and much more naughty than what he's doing here, so, yeah. I don't think that's the real Giovanni. Overheat. And I think that does it for the rematch with Giovanni, or Petro, actually. That's so Giovanni. But if that's his last name, then that means, or his second name, that means that Giovanni is not his first name, the boss of Team Rocket from the older games. You know how Mario has two names, Mario Mario? That could be it. Petro, listen carefully. Okay? We stash the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the Golden Rod Tunnel. I'm a nice guy, I'll give you the basement key to get to the underground warehouse. Take it with gratitude! Obtained the basement key. Okay. And uh, now I think I'm gonna... Okay. I guess we just leave, yeah? Well, oh, come on. Okay, in the next episode, we're gonna go, um, untie the director. He's being held in the storage facility underground that leads back up to the warehouse and the radio tower underneath the building lab. So, anyway, this has been wonderful. And I'll see you guys then. If you enjoyed my videos, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.